Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Dave the Diver. So we accidentally bought an O2 tank, but that's okay. And let's take a look at our objectives. So we need to blow up the big pile of rock. And we need to assist Ellie by grabbing blue shells and brown shells. So let's go ahead and just hop right into the sea and let's see what we can find out. So go ahead and do the Aquaman dive. You'll see in a second. Bam. <laughs> he got some, uh, he's like a torpedo, human torpedo. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this right here. It's a brown shell. So it looks like uh, the side objectives are pretty high up. So let's go ahead and focus on grabbing the side objective stuff and the main objective. And then we'll worry about the sushi in the afternoon. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Got a net gun. What is this? I saw B B. Okay, so we got some, some coral. I know I've said this before, but I really dig the art style in this game. It's gorgeous. Let's grab some O2 while we're at it. I'm doing pretty good on weights right now. Although in the future we will want to increase the Increase it our low capacity so we don't become encumbered. Okay, let's go this way instead. I know the indicators tell me to go the other way. But we can go around these floating rocks. Did I grab everything for the objective? I'm not really sure. It looks like it disappeared. Okay, equipment okay, obtained. So we got an underwater scooter. Okay, we got an escape pod over here. We're doing great on O2 right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and head towards the main objective. Let's uh, get away from this lionfish. Actually, let's shoot our net gun at it. Capture it. So if we do survive, we don't go home empty-handed. Or if we do fail the next time, we don't go empty-handed. Okay, let's go ahead and swim around this way and just follow the little meter. We got an equipment box over here. Man, so much valuable stuff just laying around. And it's extremely specific to its diving equipment. Things that'll help my diver. It's not like gold bullion or anything like that. Or ancient treasure. Okay, equipment obtained. We got a lightning harpoon gun. Fascinating. Okay, we gotta swim away from this guy. He's angry. He got some he got some chompers on him. Let's grab some small net gun ammo. Okay, still doing good on O2. I haven't seen a shell in a while, so maybe we completed the objective. We shall see. We're only 40 meters away from Oh, ink splat. Got splatooned. There's some other O2 over here too. So let's go ahead and grab that. I know the more items we pick up, the more upgrades we can have to those items. So I don't know if it only pertains to actually getting to the surface with the item or not. Oh, okay. Scared him off. It looks like he was coming back for a pincer attack, but we outsmarted him by just standing still. It's like a, a T-Rex. Even though that was proven to be uh, factually... Uh, Incorrect. I think I just said an oxymoron. <laughs> We're here. Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff. Where did Dr. Bacon come from anyways? I'm the only one down here. Hearing voices or something. <laughs> All good. You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. Ah, I see. Okay, we got some. We got screen share on. We can't have you torn into a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Now back away from the bomb a bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some distance. That should be enough. Here it goes. Oh, that concussive blast would definitely have killed me at this range. Nice. Now the road is clear. There's a faint light coming from the side. Go on side. 
Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? That would be an amazing scientific discovery. Man, this guy is insensitive. He has no tact. Okay, so we're about halfway of our air, so let's go ahead and go inside. Go to the new region. Very nice. So we got a whole new area to discover. Ooh. Look at that artwork. Sea People Record Chamber. Wow, this place is wow. It appears to be some kind of Sea People Record Chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a Sea People civilization in this region. Look at the mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seism seismic activity. Good point, but that style of painting architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. Okay, so our oxygen didn't replenish, so hopefully there's an oxygen tank nearby. This can't be a natural pillar. There are even greater, uh, even mysteries characters engraved into it. So our oxygen's frozen. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. This mural seems to be of a warrior or king. It looks powerful. There seems to be scales on a lower body. Is this a real? Is this really a mural of the sea people? Let's see what else we can find. And we got one more thing down here. A little pictograph. A painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. Good, that should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera I gave you. How do I do that? Okay, so the objectives on the left hand side looks like we grabbed all the side objectives already. So let's go ahead and hit start. Um, O2, oh crap, I used my O2 tank. Okay, so that's fine. How do I take a picture? Boost. Um, I'm pushing random buttons. I don't want to push the wrong button though. Can't grab anything. Let's uh, actually, let's just look around maybe. Okay, so we just have to be in the correct spot. Okay, let's go ahead and take a picture. New content, camera. The camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. Check the object top, uh, check your objective on the top left. Use A to adjust focus and remove your hand to take the picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Gotcha. Simple enough. I don't see any green indicators. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Oh, uh, looks like I can't fail this. Okay, there's a blinking green light on the top left-hand corner of the, uh, the car there. So let's go ahead and just focus. Excellent. Main target, camera focus, ancient sea people mural. Optional goal, none. Okay. We probably won't use the camera much. Hmm, I see something on the floor there. Oh, it might be another sea people artifact. Bring it to me. So like I said, um, we might not use the camera much. It just seems like an extra feature. I'm not really interested in it. We are going to try to do as much as we can in this game, but we're not going to 100% it. Sea People Artifact, an artifact found in the Sea People Record Chamber and covered with moss. It's old and shabby, but there seems to be a mysterious energy about it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it. Uh-oh. Got ancient tongue. This is the sound from before. Mm, a record chamber filled with sea people symbols. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back to the boat for now. I'm starting to hear voices. I'm going senile. Okay, so I guess we can catch some fish. We, we're we going to catch some fish in a little bit more shallow waters, though. So uh, we don't risk running out of air. And we do have half our uh, loadout. Or wait. Filled, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see what this level 3 harpoon gun does, actually. Ooh! Okay. He is stunned. I wonder if we can do another shot. No, it just stuns him. So maybe need a level 4 harpoon gun? Let's see what fish we can grab. Oh! Okay, so the minigame uh, shifts. Okay, so we uh, 
move the toggle stick left and right. So we can catch bigger fish now. Oh, and it's heavy. So let's go ahead and catch a few more fish. And we'll use the escape pod. We are way over encumbered right now. Okay, so I can't. There is a max limit you can actually carry. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully this fish will be good at eating. It'll give us a lot of meat, maybe. Let's go ahead and take the escape pod. Escape pods are a really nice feature, too. <laughs> Depressurizing. Reading a book. He's going to be in there for a while. Okay, we've got Dr. Bacon again. What do you got to say to us? Hmm, a sea people artifact. Hmm, very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further in my lab. I'll be in touch soon. Nice, straight to the point. Oh, who are these hooligans? Sea blue. Say blue. Oh, hey, hey, you there. I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, about that. Um, we are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them. Thank God, because this sea is polluted right now. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. His name is John Watson. <laughs> With no space. I've had reports of someone who has been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with the Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. We're watching you. Yeah, it's definitely not the last we're seeing of them. <laughs> Probably ex-special forces also. They tend to retire in areas like this. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? Sea Blue. That group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses and not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. I expect they're taking bribes or some unsavory like that. Or something unsavory like that. That guy looked like bad news. It won't do you any good to be on the radar. Be careful. Beyond the rock pile completed. Ellie's calling now. Hmm, already? Phew, that was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if I just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta-da, haha. Research level gain. Huh, Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know Eco Watcher? It's a mission-based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. So this was for points on the app, not for a paper. Well, uh, you could say they're basically the same thing. You can try it out too if you're interested. See you. So we got suckered. We gotta watch out for that one. Use the Eco Watcher app to check various ecological missions, gather points to receive various rewards. Okay, so whatever gun or item that we go to the surface with, is how we upgrade the blueprint. Okay. Um, looks like we had a good haul. Deepest uh, we ever been and obtained the most. And, ooh, quite a bit of fish. So let's go ahead and send that to the fish tank. So it's the afternoon now. Let's go ahead and check our phone. Let's take a look at Eco Watcher. So, it looks like we're just going to be doing this stuff naturally. Rewards. Eco health bracelet. What's that do? Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, weapon shop real quickly. Nope. I want to look at Eye Diver. And we do have quite a bit of money. So, I want to increase my carrying capacity upgrade and the harpoon gun so we do a little bit more damage and let's do air tank and 
cargo capacity again. I'm not too worried about um, diving limit right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I should have used all that money because we need to use some of it for the sushi shop. But let's go ahead and just dive and kind of chillax for now. And just try to get some more sushi fish. Now we can only surf so much fish of uh, many types. So we're limited. So it's best to kind of stick the same fish that we're catching. Okay, grab some rope. Grab this right here. So I can't look at the uh, the app from underwater, which makes sense. I know there was some lionfish we need to get rid of. That was one of the side objectives. So we'll be looking out for some lionfish. Okay, we got a gun, triple axle. I actually like this gun a lot. It's kind of like a spread shot. Almost like a shotgun. There's some O2, but we're pretty healthy right now. Let's go ahead and start catching some fish. Uh, you can't escape from me, buddy. You'll tire out eventually. Gotcha. Hmm. And we'll just swim around, try to grab some items while we're at it. I think that's the fish that we captured. I'm sure I can check in the menu. Mediterranean parafish. There is a ton of different types of fish here, which I really enjoy. There's a lot of variety in this game. You gotta think a little tactfully. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that fish. Oh, we just got hit. Let's take him out. So we got a red line fish. That's one. Let's see if we can find any more down here. What is that? Lightning harpoon tip? Okay, so we're level two. We have a level two weapon. And we got a uh, box over here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we have an underwater scooter. Can I pick that up? Yes. So let's go ahead and... How do I use it again? Left trigger. Is that a little bit? It is a little fast to control underwater. Okay, pick up some ammo. There's not much to this underwater scooter. Not much uh, energy or fuel or battery in it. It's already out. Okay, let's grab some O2 while we're at it. I'm really looking for the lionfish right now, so we might have to go a little bit deeper underwater. Ow! Wasn't paying attention. Luckily, there's no health bar. That fish blended right into the environment. We did increase our O2 and our carrying capacity by quite a bit, so the upgrades are really worth it. Okay, we got another lionfish and a shark. So we're going to take out that shark. We're going to use the Gatling gun. It's going to charge at us. And we got the lionfish on our tail too. Oh, uh, we got three fish after us, so we got to be kind of careful. Okay, we got the shark. Let's go ahead and switch weapons. Nope, let's go ahead and just fillet the shark real quickly while we're at it. And then we'll go after the lionfish. Okay, we got the shark. We're over encumbered right now. Let's kind of dodge this. We are a little slow. Ooh. That thing is right on our tail. I wonder if I can shoot it. Okay, we did shoot it. Let's go ahead and switch weapons again. And then we're going to capture this lionfish. Oh, uh, we're way over carrying capacity. Let's go ahead and just get out of here. Let's uh, collect these items real quickly. We'll worry about the lionfish uh, later. So I guess the idea is... Long distance underwater scooter. Very nice. So I guess the idea is to... Start capturing bigger and bigger fish for sushi. I'm guessing we make more money that way too. That's a really cool uh, loading screen. That's what that was. You, we weren't actually depressurizing. We were uh, loading. Okay. And, oh, we got quite a few fillets out of this. Okay, to the fish tank. Wrap up your day and get things ready, uh, Pancho Sushi. 
Applicant mm -hmm. list. Well, there's an applicant for a bunch of sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. Okay. This chapter is pretty long. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. Okay, let's take a look at staff. Press X to check on the hiring notice. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. So let's go ahead and hire. Cooking 14, serving 35. Um, procure 15, appeal 21. What's procure? Eh, I'm just guessing the higher number the better. I'm gonna make money fast and go traveling. Sure you are. Everyone's dream. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be stuck in this restaurant for like 10 years. Your dreams are gonna fade away. I'm not speaking from personal experience or anything. All right, let's look um, like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. So dining area or kitchen? A to go to employee placement. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly. Add them to your dining area to serve more quickly. As for our first staff, let's try the dining area reassignment for now. Okay. I think that should be enough uh, to go on for now. I'm starting to, I'm stating the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming through. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Okay, so we gotta micromanage that. Oh, who do we have here? VIP appeared. Vincent, the gourmet. Hello viewers, this is Yui from the TV show Star Chef. Today I come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on Cookstar, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us legendary sushi expert Vincent Yama <laughs> Yamako Yamaka. I am terrible with pronunciation, so please forgive me if I butcher some of these. Um, I am Vincent Yamaka. I pronounce it the same exact way. <laughs> Hello, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. There's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they are stored in age, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. All these things, all, all those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. I see. In that case, why? Do, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi has long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and the amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that exist from the Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. You have once criticized California rules as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion of Bancho Sushi would be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bancho. Um, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Ban. He's quite... Reticent? Um, oh god. <laughs> I need to improve my- I need to read more. <laughs> that can only mean he speaks through his own- his cooking. The sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole and the chef sure gives off vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of this place. That's so focused on appearances. You there. Boncho, was it your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise him. Wow, Vincent offers daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and exotic chef. Things are getting real interesting. Well, uh, we'll come to you. Uh, we'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to star the chef. Eat, drink, love. I dig it. What are you thinking? What are you gonna do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need some sea grape and white spotted jellyfish. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters down in the depths. By the way, you'll need to capture the white spotted jellyfish alive. You'll need a tranquilizer gun or a net gun. Hmm. You're gonna make sushi with those? Okay, a limestone cave, right? I'll go look for them. We'll do that probably tomorrow. New VIP. 
Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Okay, so we'll have to do that tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at staff real quickly. We're hiring. Let's go ahead and place a... Um, we'll place a TV ad for now. I wonder if this is instant. Hiring has begun, so the next day is when we actually get to take a look at the applicants. Add staff. We don't have any staff to add. Ingredients. Uh, let's go ahead and do the menu real quickly. And we have a lot to upgrade. So there's 15 fish here, so let's go ahead and enhance this real quickly. Got another gorgeous cutscene. Looks like it's the same one. Still pretty badass. I really love this pixel art style. <laughs> that fish is terrified. <laughs> I think that's going to be this episode's thumbnail. Okay, let's go ahead and enhance it again. Every time we enhance it, we lose fish. Uh, the amount of fish we have on it. Okay, let's just enhance everything. This is a quality game, not a numbers game. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we want to add. So let's do the priciest fish. Or the fish with the happiest rating, actually. So the shark head, we can only do one of those. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do the fish with the most money actually. So we're going to do the white trebly uh, sushi. Max. Okay. We're going to do the shark head. We only have one of those. And we really need to catch more fish. Grab that. The white tip reef shark sushi. And the rest is negligible. So we'll do this one, Mediterranean parrotfish. And... We'll do this one right here because it has a happy rating of 60. Okay. Let's close that out. Let's confirm the menu. Okay. Research. Oh, yeah, we can research recipes. That's right. We have Artisan's Flame to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, we have seasoned Kajimi. I'm not sure what that is. Agar Token Roten. Uh, made with agar soy sauce. Um, let's just go ahead and do the sides. Research. Very delicate. And just research everything. Since we had enough artisan flame. Let's take a look at ingredients. Uh, what do I do with this stuff? Oh, we can sell. Okay. I'm not too worried about selling. I'm not really focused on the money game here. Okay, so we can do a brick aesthetic. I'm just taking a look. So very urban type of uh, setting. Uh, restore all the furniture, furnishings you have placed in the original state. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, what's in the bottom left-hand corner? There's the phone and... There's a loading thing right there. Ego Watcher. Ah! Okay, I said off for no reason. <laughs> Music. Marinka. Let's take a look at this real quickly. So we have some new things. Um, I'm sure we can call people and kind of get their more dialogue, but for the pacing of the episode, we're just going to go ahead and continue. So let's go open, open Bajo Sushi. Okay, waiting for our first customer. Will you want some tea? Yes, you want some tea. Oh, the customers are coming in fast now. Okay, perfect. I think you were first. I did not expect the customers to come in this fast. Perfect. Pour some tea. Good. Oh, that's our first good. Uh, who do we want here? Okay, so it highlights who gets the 
fish and stuff. Let's go ahead and do the tea real quickly. Okay, I can see how this gets overwhelming now. Perfect. This person's waiting on her sushi, so we better get it out fast. Okay, and we only have one uh, shark head, so we'll give it to the person who came in first. Oh, no, we get multiple shark heads. Ooh. Come on, you can sprint, buddy. Everyone wants a shark head. Damn. Get this out quickly. We might need some more kitchen staff. We can make it. Okay. Very nice. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Having the extra uh, dining staff help really uh, helps speed this along. We could probably make more money. Yeah, we made a lot of money today. In comparison to previous nights. Boncho Sushi closed. Very nice. Oh, look at that net profit today. And we gained five uh, artisan. Okay, we got the sea people. Looks like they're still alive. Oh! We got the Kraken. Why are Kraken is always portrayed as the villains? You know. Um, Clash of the Titans. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's raining today, too. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hmm, Dave. Yes, Dr. Bacon? Dave, yes? Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news. Haha, <laughs> you're the positive type. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected. Wow, so it's an ancient artifact? The bracelet seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. Me, what? Me? I mean, I'm grateful, but why? Haha, -ha. who knows, there might be some frightening sea people curse on it. Well, in any case, try it on first. Yeah, this is how you have a poltergeist. Do you really want a poltergeist? <laughs> uh, bracelet shaped sea people artifact has mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Well, this would have been nice last episode. <laughs> okay, let's grab that. Well, I feel some kind of new power inside me. Haha, -ha. glad to hear nothing bad happened. You'll be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, and I have more great news. I've analyzed the artifacts and investigation data. I was able to find a strong signal in the ocean depths. This was the right place. The objects didn't just float here. I have a feeling the great blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to the Sea People site. A very lucky opportunity. That just sounds like I have to risk my life again. So what's the bad news? In order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. He has all sorts of things. Hmm, you're right. Try contacting Duff first. Will you? Duff's pink delivery. Charm. You can equip charms and swap them out in the inventory. Charms have various effects that will help you out in game, so don't forget to try them out if you find them. Okay, got Yoshi calling. Pick up. I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app, which works on your smart home. You can check the current situation in Bancho Sushi anytime using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. Sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it out on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Okay, so we got a management app now. You can check Bancho Sushi uh, information using management app. Check it out on your phone. Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. Um, actually, let's do cook stuff first and like all our posts. Okay, so it looks like we're caught up. Uh, we need more followers to rank up. And where's the management app? Management, there we go. So this tells us our sales and net, uh, our net revenue and tells us our top sales. Obviously the more expensive stuff is gonna be selling much better. 
Okay, can I do anything from this menu? Okay, so we can do... No, okay, it doesn't look like we can do much. It just uh, displays all the information. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for uh, catching me this episode. I will catch you next time. Peace.